It's International Women's Day, and we are so happy to greet you with uh, a special hello from Women in Tech Sweden. International Women's Day is our day. This is a day when we celebrate to get more women into the tech industry and also to be able to develop and keep the women already in the industry. This year will be our 10th year hosting our big event and we're really happy to be able to share a few thoughts about this day uh, and the event with you. I'm Elin Eriksson. I function as the director for Women in Tech Sweden Association. Uh, and my colleagues here today are Åsa Johansson and Sara Sederberg. Åsa, I want to hear your thoughts about this day. In a dream world, International Women's Day wouldn't be needed. And gender equality would be in uh, worldwide, but also in the tech industry. But still, here we are. Sara. Um, I think this is why I feel that we are so for fortunate to be uh, driving the work that we do at uh, Women in Tech. Uh, this gives us an opportunity to be actually part of the change. For many years we have been working with, as I said, getting more women into the industry and also to, to help support and develop the women already industry. We're about 30% uh, in the Swedish tech industry, there are women. We need to be more. Uh, and we do that. Our pillars three pillars are networking, role models and inspiration. And this is what our members always tell us that they need when we ask them what will you need to stay in the industry. So I want to elaborate a bit about the networking part of it. Um, usually uh, some of our members would say that I'm the only woman in the team, I don't know who to turn to, I don't know what to do next, I don't know how to compare, I don't know what would be a, a way forward for me. And if you don't have the network on site where you are right now, you should make sure to get involved in Women in Tech because there's always a network. There are so many peers uh, and there are so many people who are ready to support you and ready to, to help you move on to the next step. And there's always a next step to take. So make sure that you use this network because we're here to support each other to create a better industry. Uh, and I know that, that you also and Sarah have some, uh, some thoughts about the, the other pillars. So Sarah, about the role models. So uh, I think with the role models, what uh, the work that we are doing is to make sure that we have a really large variety of people being on stage. And by variety, I mean it's like it's both in different tech areas, but also stage experience or different level at the career so that and also life paths. I mean, so many different of our speakers and participants have different uh, experiences. Um, and the advantage I see with having this variety is that everyone that comes to our events will have a chance to find someone that they can identify with and feel that, well, this could also be me. Yeah, you don't have to be a, like a superhero to be no. a role model, right? No, just a regular, normal, amazing woman. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And also uh, about the inspiration part. Yeah, inspiration. We need more women to be inspired to choose the tech industry. And we make, need to make sure that the tech industry is more inclusive and diverse going forward. And speaking of inspiration, we are able to run this platform and host our yearly conference at the Stockholm Waterfront when we invite 2,500 women or members, I would say, for free. And all this is thanks to our partners. I am Charlotte Kvarnström and I'm leading technology, media and telecommunications market segment for EY Nordics. We at EY celebrate International Women's Day because we believe that active support for inclusiveness is crucial for being your authentic self and for ensuring we have diversity of thought. Every day we try to walk the talk and over the years we have accelerated towards a culture that places DEI at the very center of our culture. I'm proud to conclude as an example that in my leadership team, more than half are women. All of us are also super excited to meet you at Women in Tech on the 23rd of March. Our EY focus session will be all about how technology and connectivity are enablers for a future that we want that is sustainable and how women in tech are essential for achieving this. A warm welcome to join us there. It is a pleasure for me to be celebrating International Women's Day um, with, with Women in Tech this year. Um, and uh, for me, it is a, a day that really celebrates how far we've gotten in fighting for women's right, um, rights in 
really throughout uh, our lives, whether it is as children or as women in, um, in different industries, in employment, at home, uh, our safety, our security. It's also a day to remind ourselves that we have a long way to go and that yet we are not yet in a, uh, in a situation where a woman is born on this earth with these rights. On the 23rd of March, um, at the Women in Tech uh, 10th anniversary celebration uh, event, uh, I am looking forward to actually speaking and keynoting uh, on the main stage regarding uh, unbiased um, technology and how women being part of uh, different areas of technology uh, will allow us to actually uh, reach unbiased goals that we have to use technology um, for good. So we are so much looking forward to uh, March 23rd happening really, really soon, actually, uh, where we will host uh, the annual Women in Tech Conference, uh, and it's the 10th year. On March 23rd, we are hosting 2,500 people, mostly women, but people of all genders are always welcome to our events. Uh, and it will be an online presence as well. Um, and we need to, to sort of make sure that you know this. Even though you didn't get a ticket to Waterfront, you can still e experience the Women in Tech uh, uh, conference. And uh, Sara, please tell us a bit more about what, what's happening online. Yes, online we will be showing everything that's happening on the main stage, so the talk and all the action and all the special things that we have prepared for that day. And also all the focus sessions that are happening in the afternoon will be sent live. And uh, also the good thing to know is that they will be available afterwards on demand because you can't watch 10 or more focus sessions at a time. Um, and uh, this is available to all of our members. Uh, and if you're not a member yet, sign up today and it's free. So you don't have to think about that. And also maybe organize something with your colleagues uh, for that day. Um, but also for our online presence or participants, we really want to make something special because we can't have everyone at Waterfront. So we will be having the interview stage uh, where we will dive into topics and speak to our speakers and uh, also participants and see what's happening. Uh, and since we want to engage our online participants as well, we are looking into new tech and things like that to engage with you. So look out for what will be happening and hope to see you online if you're not at Waterfront. Yeah. If someone says, would you like to try something new? We tend to say yes. Yes, please, <laughs> let's try something new. So uh, basically we are preparing for stuff right now uh, as we speak and you will find out on March 23rd, uh, 23rd at womenintech.se. Um, so Osa, uh, what are you looking forward to the most when it comes to like the, the actual experience at Waterfront or online? Both, of course. <laughs> I'm looking forward to the energy that happens at Stockholm Waterfront when you engage 2,500 participants, when you engage more than 30 partners that interact with each other and the participants, and you can host more than 20 focus sessions. The energy that happens in that room is unique, and I'm looking forward to that every year. Uh, this usually sums up to more than 80 speakers. And sometimes people say we cannot get a female speaker within the tech industry. Well, yeah, they're wrong, right? Because we, um, we offer a smorgasbord of speakers, of focus sessions, of keynote speakers and so on. Uh, and not the least uh, you as a member. Uh, we are so proud uh, to have you. We are so proud that we can share this with you and even um, making sure that people from everywhere uh, can be, become a member for free uh, and take part of what we have to offer and what the women in tech community have to offer. So what I would like you to do right now is make sure that you follow us in our channels, collaborate with us and most of all with each other, um, give each other tips, make sure that you network, find each other on LinkedIn, connect and say, hey, I think you are an amazing person. I want to just get to know you. Uh, keep the conversations going. We are using the hashtag WITSWE2023. Uh, so keep the conversations going. And we are so much looking forward to seeing you online and on site on March 23rd. So um, go celebrate and go fight on March 8th. We're with you. <laughs>